This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. We continue today with our preview of the 2019 GAC Basketball Championship Tournaments. The men's side of the bracket going on today, at least our preview today, as the tournament gets underway Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from Bartlesville, Oklahoma, at Bruin Fieldhouse. The first men's basketball game on the docket this week will feature the number two seed, Southeastern Oklahoma State University taking on the number seven seed, the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Southeastern comes in with a record of 20 and six overall, 16 and six in the GAC, good enough for a second place finish in the league. The Savage Storm have won eight straight ball games, 11 of the last 12, and they're led by one of the player of the year candidates in Kevin Buckingham. He's third in the league in points at 20.5. He leads the league in rebounds 9.4 per game, seventh in steals, fifth in assists as well. Kevin Buckingham leading the storm back to take on Monticello, 16 and 12 overall, 12 and 10 in league play. Now, there was an eight-game winning streak for Monticello a little bit earlier as December started, but then up and down since then, they finished just above 500 in the league. K.J. Leisure with 12.8 points per contest for the Weevils, and Marcus Gilbert is putting up three-pointers at a 45% clip. That is a tip time of 2.15 on Thursday afternoon. The second men's game on the docket will tip at 8 p.m. on Thursday evening. It features the top seed Southern Nazarene 25-5 and overall, 18-4 and in GAC play. The Crimson Storm have won five of the last six and have three of the top 12 scorers in the league in Dunn, Spate, and Starkey. We'll talk a little bit more about Southern Nazarene just in a moment. The Crimson Storm will take on the Tigers from Washita, 14-12 and overall, 11-11 and in GAC play. They are the number eight seed. They've won six of the last eight, though, Led by Milan Martin, 15.1 points and 3.1 assists per game and putting up three-pointers at a 46% clip. The third contest in the men's bracket will take place Friday, 5.45 p.m. is the tip time for Southern Arkansas and Henderson State. The Mule Riders, the number four seed, 19-9 overall, 14-8 in GAC play. They opened GAC play at 9-1, but have lost four of the last five. They are... Leading, though, in rebounding margin, 6.3, a plus 6.3 rebounding margin as the Mule Riders can collect the ball. Devontae Brooks leading the way for Southern Arkansas, 7.7 rebounds per contest. That's good enough for number four in the league. No one in the top 20, though, in scoring from Southern Arkansas. Devontae Brooks, number 21 in the league at 11.4 points per contest. Taking on the fifth seed, Henderson State, 18-10 overall, 13-9 in GAC play, and really the schedule just showed that the Reddies were up and down throughout the season. Lost two of the last three, but won three straight prior to that. Chris Parker leads the way at 12.0 points per contest, and Mike Fafana with 9.8 points and 7.9 rebounds per game. The fourth quarterfinal matchup will take place Friday night, tip time at 8 p.m. from Bruin Fieldhouse, and it features the third seed, Oklahoma Baptist, taking on the sixth seed, East Central, the Bison, 15-13 and 13 overall, 14-8 and eight in GAC play. Opened the league with a 7-1 and one record and finished 7-7 seven and seven in the next 14 contests. Antonio Wade leading the way for Oklahoma Baptist, 14.8 points per contest. And Deshaun Lowry is second in the league with 8.0 rebounds per game, taking on the Tigers from East Central, tournament champions a couple of years ago, 16-11 overall, 13-9 and nine in league play. Five and five, though, in the last 10 contests. Cameron Talley leading the way for the Tigers, second in the league in scoring at 20.5 points per game. And Darian King, 11th in the league, 14.4 points per game, and he makes 63% of his shots. That's tops in the GAC. We had an opportunity to visit with Adam Bohach, the coach of the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm, the regular season champions and defending tournament champions about the season this year. Coach, the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm were the preseason favorites to win the Great American Conference in 2018-2019, and you did just that, 18-4 in GAC play. Has this season turned out like you thought it might? Have there been some adjustments? What's it been like for you in Bethany? Yeah, Joey, it's uh, it's been a fantastic year. Um, I don't think they ever turn out quite like you, you think they will, and and that's what makes it so fun uh, and makes the journey so exciting and, and so interesting. 
uh, really proud of this group and 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 how they've hung together and and how the year went. Um, you know, last year was was a magical ride and everything just kind of came together unexpectedly a little bit. And uh, and this year was completely the opposite, where we were picked to win it, and and that brings a whole different dynamic. And so it's been fun battling through some injuries and some adversity and uh, and going through that that grueling 22 game uh, Great American Conference league schedule again with this group. Uh, it, it's been really a satisfying year. To, to see how we finished uh, the regular season. Well, you brought back a lot of key components from last year's season, I- including Dunn and, and Spate, both juniors now. And, and speaking of them, you have three of the top 12 scorers in the league, and you're putting up more than 80 points a game, beating your opponents by an average of 13 points per contest. This is a pretty impressive offense. Yeah, it speaks to how good those three guys are, Joey, and uh, not only good as players. I mean, Micah and Jonathan and Noah are all three just tremendous players, but the character of those three guys to uh, allows us to to have a good team because they they stay out of each other's way they serve one another um, and really all three of them put the team first and uh, you know when you have three good ones and and they all three put the team first uh, that gives you a chance to to have a good season Speaking of Coach Adam Bohach from Southern Nazarene University, Coach, when I have spoken with your players in recent years, it's just been almost universal. They like to talk about defense and the effort that they put forward on defense. Uh, How do you instill that in them, and is it just a part of their makeup or, or just a part of the process? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of it is just who they are as people, Joey, uh, high character guys who care about the team first and and understand uh, for the team to have success, uh, you have to guard a little bit. (laughs) And then, uh, you know, that fits our our makeup uh, as well in terms of just, uh, you know, up and down our roster. Uh, the strength of a, of a lot of our guys are, are the ability to get down in a stance and, and be tough minded and, and, and try to guard and, and the guys take a lot of pride in that. And a big piece of that has been the big fella in the middle, uh, Noah kind of lurking back there, um, and, and taking a lot of pride in, in our defense. And, and it kind of starts and, and ends with him, you know, at the rim. Well, Coach, you come into the GAC postseason tournament having won five of your last six games, a tough two-point loss at Monticello, and and realistically a game the Weevils probably needed to win, if you can use that word, needed to win, maybe a little bit more than you all did because you'd already wrapped up the top seed in the regular season championship. You face Washita then in your quarterfinal game, a team that you've defeated twice this season. Talk about the GAC tournament. Yeah, we are excited to, to be in March and, and excited to be going back to Bartlesville. Um, this will be the fourth straight year, I believe, Joey, that we faced Wachita in the first <laughs> round. And so it is no fun playing a Coach Nut-led uh, group uh, in March. And so uh, the good news is that everyone on our roster uh, knows that and has been a part of a lot of those battles in March with, with Wachita. And so uh, I think we have a good understanding of what we're getting ourselves into um, in that first round and how we'll have to play and, and how tough-minded – uh, and how physical we'll need to be in the first round. And, and I know the guys are really looking forward to, to getting up there and, and getting ready to go. The regular season champions in the GAC this year and defending tournament champions, the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm, coached by Adam Bohach. Coach, thank you very much for your time today. Awesome. Thank you, Joey. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear this and see this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net.